Hello from the InterConnect Mortgage Team. We are a highly knowledgeable group of mortgage professionals who pride ourselves on top-notch communication. We work to provide homeowners with the highest quality of home loans. We are dedicated to educating you on the mortgage process. Please enjoy this video. You may be thinking that now is a good time to refinance your home. You may want to lower your monthly payment or take cash out to buy another home or pay down debt. Whatever your reason, it's important to know the steps to easily get your refinance completed. The first step to financing your mortgage is knowing that you can work with whoever you want to refinance your existing mortgage. Okay, let's be clear. You don't have to refinance with your current lender. That's right. Just because you make your mortgage payment to XYZ Company does not mean you have to refinance your existing loan with them. In fact, you should always see if there's a better option for you with a local lender. If you decide to do a refinance with a different lender, no worries. That new lender will simply pay off your current loan, ending your relationship with your old lender. So don't be afraid to use someone besides who you make your monthly mortgage to. Step two is apply. When you apply for a refinance with your mortgage lender, they will ask you many of the same questions that they did when you bought your home. They want to know your income, assets, debt, and credit score to determine whether you meet the requirements needed to refinance. Step three, lock in your interest rate. Depending on how the market is, you will want to lock in your interest rate after you apply for your mortgage. Your lender will keep you informed on daily interest rates and be sure you know when the time is to lock your rate in. You will need to lock your interest rate so it doesn't change before the loan closes. Rate locks last anywhere from 15 to 60 days. The rate lock period depends on a few factors like your location, loan type, and lender. If your loan doesn't close before the lock period ends, you may be required to extend the rate lock, which may cost money. Step four is underwriting. Once you submit your application and documentation, your mortgage lender will begin underwriting your loan. During underwriting, your mortgage lender verifies your financial information and makes sure that everything you've submitted is accurate. Step five is appraisal. Your mortgage lender will order the appraisal on your behalf. You may not need an appraisal if you are doing a rate and term refinance. Your lender will be able to tell you if you qualify for an appraisal waiver. Step six is closing. Once your appraisal is complete and your documentation has been verified, you will receive a clear to close. A few days before closing, your lender will send you a document called a closing disclosure. That's where you'll see all the final numbers about your loan, including your interest rate, closing costs, monthly payment, etc. If you have any questions, be sure to work with your lender to get them answered. With recent loan limit increases, now may be the perfect time to find out about doing a refinance. Be sure to check with your lender to find out what loan program is best for you. Thanks for watching. We are here to answer your questions and help you through the process. You can reach us online at www.interconnectmortgage.com. We look forward to working with you.